there's one thing that should unite us as Americans, it's the Star Spangled Banner. It is the national anthem, after all. But for more than a year, President Donald Trump has been using Francis Scott Key's song to divide Americans rather than unite them and to pursue a politically potent feud with the NFL. This week, Trump falsely used the anthem dispute as an excuse to disinvite the Philadelphia Eagles from the White House. But no Eagle ever took a knee. And those players who have were protesting racial injustice, not the military, as Trump has falsely claimed. Trump has even suggested some players should leave the country if they don't want to stand for the anthem. The NFL bowed to presidential pressure by approving a new policy. But the fact of the matter is, there's nothing more American or more patriotic than having the freedom to stand or not when the anthem is played. The president, who praises the military, forgets that soldiers, both black and white, fought and died for that right to free expression. And the fact remains that, even after all this time, some Americans are still less equal than others. That promise of equality and opportunity to everyone in the land of the free and the home of the brave is the one that Trump should be focusing on, but he's not.